The threat landscape has changed. The past three years have seen a dramatic shift in web attack volume, vectors, and variety. Take volume. The total number of DDoS attacks has tripled since 2010. The size of each attack has also grown. While attacks reaching one gigabit per second took place a handful of times in 2010, during the first three months of this year, we were seeing attack sizes 20 to 30 times that amount, as often as every week. In terms of vectors, the number of attacks against web applications has increased even faster than the number of network layer attacks. And finally, in terms of variety, many of the savviest attackers are not limiting themselves to one attack type. In many cases, they're combining techniques in order to create the most possible havoc and steal the most possible data or money. So the combination of volume, vector, and variety has created an inflection point in the threat landscape. Yet many organizations are hoping to simply update their old security postures in order to keep up. Some organizations with investments in appliance firewalls just wait for new rules and signatures to block attacks. But in the new threat landscape, the old ways of protecting the data center don't work anymore. And why not? Well, in an appliance-based world, tightening rules and broadening inspections leads to decreased performance. This is what we describe as the DDoS paradox. The paradox being that the act of shoring up defenses in order to prevent DDoS attacks actually results in the same effects as the DOS attack itself. In other words, sluggish performance or a knockdown firewall. Fortunately, there are other ways around the paradox. Akamai operates an intelligent platform of well over 100,000 servers in more than 1,000 networks worldwide. Because Akamai's Site Defender is installed on each one of those servers, and each of those servers is in line with existing traffic and is always on, tightening and broadening rules does not have a measurable effect on throughput or performance. So why does all of this matter to your company? Well, it matters for three reasons. The first is that downtime leads to lost revenue. The second is that data loss leads to lost customers and or regulatory fines. And the third is that both downtime and data loss lead to bad press, which in turn leads to loss of brand value. So how does Akamai solve this problem? Through seven layers of defense. First, we operate a platform featuring well over 100,000 servers that defend your data center from attacks at the edge of the internet. Those servers provide unmatched scale, and each of those servers is in line and always on. Second, we stop all traffic that is not on web ports. Because we have servers embedded in more than 1,000 networks, 90% of the time, we are less than one network hop away from your attackers. So we stop attacks at the perimeter long before they get to your data center. None of the typical network flooding attacks get past our perimeter. None of them. We've been blocking these types of attacks since our founding in 1998, and we do it well. Traffic that does come in on our web ports is subject to our third layer of defense, geography-based blocking. Our customers configure or tell us the countries from which they do not want to allow traffic to access their web server, and we simply don't accept traffic from those geographies. Now, if the traffic comes in on the right port and comes from a country our customer expects to get requests from, it's subject to our fourth layer of defense, rate controls. Our rate controls look for anomalous behavior. If we're getting too many requests at a rate faster than we normally get from a particular IP, we either flag it or we block it. We also stop low and slow attacks, also known as slow loris attacks, that drip feed broken requests to our customer servers. Now, if the traffic is coming in on the right port, it's from the right country, and is neither too fast nor too slow, then we apply our fifth layer of defense. We validate the user against our list of known attackers. No. And if the traffic gets in at the right port, it's from the right country, and it's neither too fast nor too slow, then we apply our sixth layer of defense, Kona rules. We see 15 to 30% of web traffic on a daily basis, so we have lots of data that we can analyze for threat patterns. We use the results of that analysis to battle harden those rules. Today, our rules are some of the most accurate in the industry. 
And finally, if traffic gets through these first six controls, we check to see what the request is for. If it's for cached content, we serve it up all day long. Yeah. No harm to us. We have plenty of bandwidth to serve cached content to real and fake users alike. Now, what does this mean in real life for real customers? Well, in terms of scale, it means that we can stop the biggest attacks. For example, in July of 2013, an attacker directed 30 times normal traffic against our customer, a multinational bank. Because Akamai's rate controls are in line, they kicked in immediately and automatically, and our customer suffered no ill effects. And because we are always on, sneaky application layer attacks, like the account checker, an attack that targeted dozens of e-commerce companies and that we began seeing in March of this year, are identified and mitigated. The fact that we are in line and always on, as well as the fact that we have some of the most accurate rules in the industry, is what makes Akamai Website Protection Services better than the old ways of protecting the internet. We can afford to stay in line and always on because our security controls are built into the more than 100,000 servers around the world. Remember, just being on the platform, you are accelerating performance. So there's no performance penalty to adding rules. And we're accurate because we have the benefit of big data to test and drive our rules to root out the attacks as they evolve. Finally, our customers benefit from savings in terms of time, energy, and money. Because security is embedded in the Akamai platform, customers have minimal worries in terms of configuration, rollout, and upkeep. And if customers are already using Akamai to deliver websites or video, their savings are even greater. So a combination of volume, variety, and vectors have resulted in a tipping point in the web security landscape. The old ways of protecting the data center just don't work anymore. Today's customers need a solution that's accurate, that's in line, that's always on, and provides unmatched scale. Today, customers need security from Akamai.